Let's rock and roll, boys. Hello, and thank you for joining us here at ANP. I'm Austin Cummings, and I'm joined by Matthew Schultz for this episode 46 as we break down the latest on Pokemon Sword and Shield before its November 15th release. Matt, your thoughts. We both clicked on the uh, the leak of uh, yes. potential starter images, right? So we've seen the starters mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. what they evolve into. Based on that... Matt, give us a breakdown. Which way are you leaning? Give us a breakdown right. of the three. Let's talk the starters. But it dun dun Pokemon leaked <laughs> Final Evolution starters. There are three. Here we, talk. We got talk us through Grookey, mm-hmm. Score Bunny, and Sobble, of course, right? right? Sobble Water, mm-hmm. Grookey, uh, our Grass Pokemon, yep. Score Bunny, the Fire, yes. and Score Bunny. We're, we're, we'll just skip over Let's the, skip the middle child. That said, the middle, middle child. child which is always skipped over. Also in the Pokemon games, you're with that middle child so briefly. You know, a mere, really yeah. as long as you're with the first evolution, but the difference is, or first stage, but the difference is that the first stage is like all over the marketing and you spend your initial hours with it. Uh, so you grow that. Yeah. Whereas the middle one is, you know, it's gone. Quickly. I got to say though, so, okay. So um, one, because one of, a couple of the middle ones, I think are freaking awesome looking. Uh, very Based awesome on what looking. I'm saying. Yes. Um, so Sobble, uh, uh, let, are we as a spoiler content? Yeah, spoiler so content. Stop the podcast now. Yeah, thanks for listening. Just, Otherwise, thanks. Yeah, da, 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 have a great one. Um, here we go. Yep. Uh, Drizzle apparently. Uh huh. Um, and Drizzle looks super cool. Uh, I just think it like Sobble's kind of grown some, you know what, and and kind of <laughs> grown a backbone. <laughs> for um, sure. And then Drizzle into Inteleon, which right. definitely just sounds and looks. Like an anthropomorphic uh, <laughs> version of Sobble. This is like, probably it's, my, most, uh, my least favorite thing about the evolutions overall is how anthropomorphic they look. Like, yeah. I, Pokemon evolutions have really shifted this way. We do not have as many, like, Venusaurs like or Torteras. Now, we've had always some element of this. A lot of the Pokemon are, you know, bipedal. Even, um, of course, yeah. Charizard, Blastoise, and first gen. Second gen, Typhlosion for Alligator. Um, but these ones are very human looking when I, it is bothersome. I mentioned the Ash Greninja thing before, not into that, not into like Pokemon no. human fusions. Um, and sorry, hard stance to AMP about it. Although I also, if you're into it, I support that. But for me personally, I do not care for how human looking they are. I think it also in- introduces just unpleasant. Like this is like a partner Pokemon and I know they're doing it for love yeah. and they like it, but it's also like, Oh, this is like pretty humanish, and it goes to the ball and fights the, um, I prefer more when they're more monstrous looking or, you know, uh, true to the name. The So, Inteleon, though. So, when Inteleon first leaked, we got this f- photo where he's, like, kind of doing a cool stance. Um, and he, he looks kind of like Randall, uh, for li- people listening, uh, from Monsters, Inc., <laughs> right. I feel. Because uh, he looks like he- lizard-ish, uh, chameleon-ish, maybe. And in... But there's a really cool other he's, shot of him. He's got that, he's got that like, um, you know, that, that sass to he's him. He's definitely too, got some image. sass. And yeah. you know we like that on EMP. We like our, we like our boys <laughs> getting a little bit flirty with it. But uh, there's another really cool image of him, though, that has also leaked where he's basically doing this cool uh, kind of back step, almost like he is a... He had Inteleon, even the name kind of invokes an intelligence, secret intelligence, a spy. You know, there's something mysterious or duplicitous about him. And the other one, he has this cool kind of secret agent pose looking. He's jumping back, almost looks like he's firing a gun, obviously not using a gun. Oh, we oh, have, bubbles. We've not gone, <laughs> yeah, he's a bubble beam. We've not gone on the Shadow of the Hedgehog uh, revolver route quite yet, but he does have this like very action pose um, that I think does him some favors. And I think all these Pokemon will look more interesting in in uh you know in motion score bunny similar uh damning for me so cinderance which is a cool name if that ends up being what it is but the uh it really just looks, looks like a bunny it looks like a person wearing soccer pants it looks like a mascot it looks like it looks like a, like mas- a mascot like, but not of even that involved mascot yeah like i don't I, I can't see it too much i like kind of the flare of the ears but i, I gotta say the raboot is the the middle one and Rabu looks cool. It's yeah, got like, it looks like it's got like a like a more big kind of a bandit like here. bandit bandana around its mouth. Yeah, um, big ra- the ears are down, not up. Oh, you know, like good. yeah, very very um, what Babs Bunny. But back to the Toon Squad from uh, <laughs> Space Jam. What was the what was Bring the really Babs. hot 
the Babs, right? The that's super Babs, yeah. hot. Yeah. Not the Pokemon oh, yeah. Fusion hybrids, yeah. but Everyone's Babs. Everyone's big as Crush. Yes, please. The uh, big Babs cast, big Crystal cast, big Babs cast. It's not a running theme. <laughs> um, yeah. Score Bunny, it's Final Evolution. Maybe Emotion will look cool. In this single pose, again, this is our ransom note image someone took with a motorola razor and scanned uh, it's like a person taking these leaks was like in motion running and they like uh, it's very yeah, strange to yeah. me why it has to be yeah, so bad or like, like the cops are out the door and they're like we gotta get these out then world yeah they're out. very blurry yeah um but seemingly I, only I fire say, type though which is nice because we've had yeah i was gonna say lot. all of them are either fire water or just their own I, know, they don't they don't add a a type i believe so honestly like, yeah I don't know the other ones for certain. This one we're looking at what looks like the guide. Because both, you know, Blaziken and Infernape, they both had the fighting type. I think so did um Pignite. Pignite. Oh, Embor. Embor, who is firefighting as well. So there's a lot that that archetype is very common in Pokemon. Of course, we're glad it's gone. Cinderor was fire dark, so it's a little different. But he also looked like a fighter and a wrestler. <laughs> and so it was Dark Larry yeah. and his fighting move. And style, fighting themed move, dark type move. Um so I'm glad, you know, it's not that, but it would have been interesting to see like fire electric or something that kind of maybe emphasized yeah. the speed or athleticism. Um, but whatever, we'll see what it looks like in motion. You know, maybe it's more interesting. Hard to judge right now. The coolest one definitely though is tell us about it, Matt. Yeah. Uh, the, the, oh boy, where'd it go? Grookey's final <laughs> evolution. And yeah, I know it just, it just, <laughs> his name. Oh, here we go is what is it rillaboom rillaboom R- people have yeah, noticed online and- that there is a fun also maybe joke in the name where it's like if you were to call this pokemon out in a battle one might be uh inclined to say go rillaboom as in they're completing the phrase gorilla boom kind of fun gorilla he boom. looks like a gorilla <laughs> he looks the most like gorilla gorillas it seems even stupid to say like he's the least human because gorillas are so human like just IRL. But <laughs> no. in this case, but, he's definitely. But the he most looks different. more. I mean, what we would associate with uh, an, an animal, right? And yeah. he's got he's got these, um, you know, his hair is he's got this mane of like vines and leaves, yeah. and there's like one very cool. vine that kind of makes him look like Fabio with just like one it's strand very of hair. Good. Very over Fabio, his face. very long, long haired um, Superman. We love very that. big wooden uh, stump yeah like tree stump yeah because we know the drumming on. thing is going on with grookey grookey is kind of monkey and groove you know we kind of get that idea uh yeah. boom that kind of you know uh we get that fun what i don't want to be a element of the uh sound boom or the pounding on my ps you know it kind of reminds me of because th- this yeah <laughs> this whole pokemon game is going with like the the whole like you know, uh, soccer stadium vibe, right. big Love sports it. Looks fans. Looks so cool like, also in the trailer and the art just to have the big stadium. Rillaboom reminds me of like the guy who like is banging the drum when the, the home team scores right. or something. And we're like, looks over like, Rillaboom, it's just a like, big dude, big yeah. beard. He's at every game. <laughs> Sinner is. He may or may not bathe it, and it's just boof, boof, boof. Timbers, we got a guy. Lumberjack comes out, takes off a bit of a tree. Yeah, you, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love that's love what it. this reminds me of. Right. Um, of those, uh, at those Timbers games. But the Cinderace looks more like a player. Yeah. Like, he's on the field. Uh, and Tillion, maybe the owner of the team? <laughs> yeah, or maybe, like, the competitive team's owner who's, like, called in to, like, take out the, you know, take out the coach <laughs> and also, like, deflate the balls or something. Like, it's kind of that mysterious. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like it. I'm interested to see all of them. I kind of, I do wish, I hope we get to some that are, you know, a little different, but I, I have to think the push for the biped Pokemon, they just have to make better toys, frankly. Like, yeah. In terms of they, you know, Venusaur is definitely the least favorite of the original three. And although he gets a lot of good love, um, you know, same thing goes for Meganium, uh, Chikorita Evolution, and, they're just not it's harder it's not as the toy itself feels less poseable and action-ish and um you know they're very horizontal not as vertical which is vertical is exciting and horizontal is kind of flat or yeah. docile looking and um the i think that that has to be a motivation is these are very action in your face feeling uh, yeah and you know i hope that things well i look forward to seeing how they animate what they do I'm just I don't know if you've seen this one of this one of the Pokemon again we're in the spoiler section is literally just like a evolution play on like apple pie 
Yes, this um, is like probably amongst <laughs> the best of the evolution line. There are so many really good ones. So Imp Impidimp also is the pink little imp Pokemon, and that one when they had the live stream over like twenty four hours, they reveal like three Pokemon, but it would like yeah. frequently like walk in front of like the camera, quote unquote, that was like filming that little forest um, uh, enclave, and that was the really, that was um, the ponytail yeah, uh, reveal, evolution, right? But there were times like right. early in the stream where the the ponytail or, or would like walk out a little and then impidimp would yeah. walk like in front of it the camera like a very fun <laughs> trollish thing for like a goblin <laughs> troll looking pokemon it is really that's a great one too um the apple one agreed is awesome there's all Applin. funny there's like the weird like ice cube box on like a penguin cube box oh my god yeah what is good. that it, lo- it looks like straight out of like mario like 64 or something yeah it does <laughs> what what is this character <laughs> it's like it's like, like someone it's like you raise this penguin down a slide but like its head didn't render like totally perfectly or like when you pick up the baby, po- <laughs> it looks like baby penguin and you when throw you got, off the cliff it's like this is what happens when it got out it looks like when you go to make your me character for the first time it's like do you want to take a picture of yourself and you put the box over your yeah. head and you're like the oh on the 3ds or whatever and then it, it just comes never came you're like, off that is pokemon yeah it never came off like, oh. like me and then you're like well you know what? it looks better than how it would have rendered the face otherwise so i might as well just keep it <laughs> um what are some other favorites on this i like the um i think farfetch looks really cool and surfetch looks cool i like also in yeah. this image they have like this picture this screenshot of farfetch shows farfetch like in the background of the picture he's like in a, a team battle and you get like this weird angle on him and that's how it's in again i like the way these things have been compiled yeah. uh we talked about this earlier just being the uh, the very patchwork element of people finding these leaks piecing it together comparing it to existing pokedexes to figure out what was cut it's so so fun the dog school i overall like i'm you know um again more pokemon's always always preferred but i am excited to play around with these like i'd much rather especially with pokemon go I've gained an affection for a lot of Pokemon that I really didn't have much connection for. So, like, um, for instance, Litwick and um, Lampert and Chandelure are in Pokemon Go yeah. um, amongst the best of the ghost type and best of the fire type. It's really, really good, and it's been a fairly rare find outside of this Halloween event. And it requires a special Unova Stone to evolve. And... Um, and so you need a lot of candy to evolve it. Anyway, it's a challenging find, challenging get. So it's an exciting flex. And so when I've used it in battles, I feel this like fun connection to this Pokemon that I've really made a point. I'm walking it every day, like to grind up. And as a result, Chandelure is easily one of my top ten Pokemon now. Like I love it. I love the design. I think it's so funny. I played a little more Pokken tournament again yeah. just to be like, oh, I want to play this po- weird Pokemon. Like awesome. And I wouldn't have felt that way unless Pokemon Go featured this Pokemon so prevalently, right? If Pokemon Go had yeah. every Pokemon from the outset, I would have played 151. But now I'm so thoroughly tired, even though I love them, of the 151. I enjoy these, you know, a new something comes out and it's new and exciting. It changes the meta and I want to try it out or it has something special about it in Pokemon Go. And so in this, it's only more true for the mainline games where the abilities are going to come in uh, for all these Pokemon and the way in which they are encountered in the storyline, how they might be used against a potential gym leader, m- minor or major. Like it's, it's very exciting to think about the potential for these guys. I'd be much more interested in playing with one of these versus something that I know so well, such as seeking. Yeah. And so we are just days away from the release. I mean, I mean, I mean, it feels like days, but next Friday, like is, is when this thing is dropping. So that's really exciting. That is not a lot of time for me to finish. Uh, Matt, my, we're not going to take time to finish. I'm so many games to not finish. We're not going to worry about it. It's going to come out, and I'm looking forward to playing Pokemon. And yep. then I'll and I'll I'll claim over and over again. I'll finish Luigi's Mansion, and I will. But it ain't happening now. <laughs> uh, I I'm really loving that game. But we'll talk about that in another Nintendo podcast. I think. Yes, I think that's very good. Matt, do you want to take us home? Yeah. So uh, thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Matt. This is Austin. We had a great time talking about Pokemon, and we'll talk about more Pokemon, and even with some special guests, we're hoping. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in yet another Nintendo podcast. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.